Oftentimes when you create a character, you need equal but opposite uh, features on either, either side. So when you have a right hand, you need a left hand, or when you have a right eye, you need a left eye, or a right foot, left foot. So what happens if you're modeling and you only have one? I'm going to, this is one mesh, but I'm going to uh, separate it for now so I can give you guys an example. So I'm just deleting one of her hands and now we need to make, say we made this, but we need to make the other end, the, the other opposite hand. And we want it exactly the same and we want it a, the exact same distance from the center. Uh, that way, if we use symmetry, it works on both. How do we do that? So if you just modeled this hand, you probably have the, pi the pivot in the center of it like this. And generally when you make a duplicate, you would just, finding it in the outliner here, Control D, now there are two, and if I was wanting the equal but reverse version, like I would just do negative one, and you'll see it flips in um, the X. So that is not right, because we want the, the pivot to be in the center of the body, that way the hand ends up in the right spot. So how do we get the hand in the right spot? Well, I'm gonna delete it. And if we select this hand, we see that the pivot's in the center, we're gonna to have to move that pivot to the very center of the scene. And although you can, use, you can use the D key to move the pivot, if you just do it by hand, you probably won't end up in the right spot. The best way to do it is to match pivots with something that already is at the very center of the scene. So in order to get something very uh, perfectly at the center of the scene, we can create a new primitive, just a cube. It starts out right at the center, right where you need it. I'm gonna select the hand that I want. I'm gonna select the cube from the outliner and I'm gonna to go to modify, match transformations, match pivots. Now, if I select the hand, the pivot you can see is right here in the center, right where the cube is. So this is exactly what we want. Now we can control D to duplicate and then scale it at negative one. And you see it ends up at the perfectly correct spot with the pivot remaining right in the center here. And that's exactly right. So I'm gonna select both hands. I'm gonna combine their mesh so that they're, they're one essentially. Their pivot kind of moves up, it's still at the center though. And uh, this is great because now that they're combined, if I work on one um, on one, and I have symmetry on, whatever I do to one will be reflected on the other. So that is perfect. And I always like to um, clear my history after I do things like this on a character especially. So there you go. That is how you duplicate, create a duplicate but equal part of the body on a character. Uh, it's all about pivots and matching pivots. So hope this helped you guys. See you later.